Tennessee has a new education commissioner. Recently, Penny Schwinn visited Westside Elementary School in western Macon County. And as you're about to find out, she came away very impressed after touring the school and meeting with the faculty and students. My favorite part of this job is being able to be in classrooms. I don't think that there's any better way to learn about a community, understand a community, than to be in schools because that is the representation of our children, the way we're choosing to educate and raise our children. It is powerful and I have to say that this school just made my day. It literally skipped in the hallway. It was wonderful. What about this school did you like? Oh, well, so I think that the rigor of instruction was incredible. I think that the way in which um, the teachers were working individually with students, I thought the ownership that students had over their own learning, and then frankly, and I would say most importantly, this is a school where you can tell that adults care about and love the kids. They knew the kids personally. There was joy in every classroom. Mm -hmm. It was infectious. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a more joyful person as a result, <laughs> and it was just, it was a really memorable visit. What has been special about rural school visits is that the level of community, um, the level of how people think about what it means to educate and raise children, um, the creativity, the innovation, and I would say the humility um, is really powerful. When I go into rural schools and I say, you know, what can I do for you? The majority of people say, you know, we're all right, like how can we help you? How's your family? Those are the kinds of things that just express the values that you see in rural communities. And certainly that's in urban communities as well, but I think that there's an extra special feeling when you're all in it together. Um, and it's generations and generations who have attended the same schools. Um, there's just something really, really moving about that. Oh, it's a huge honor. I love my school. I love my students. I love my faculty, staff. And to be recognized at the state level, she chose Westside to come and visit today. It just, it it humbles me, but it honors me at the same time because I'm so proud that the hard work that my people are putting into the students is finally paying off. So it's just been a very exciting day. Did she say why she chose uh, Westside? She did not. She did not. Now, we do know that our test scores are really good, mm -hmm. so just kind of hoping that has a little bit of something to do with it. Just very honored that she did come to Westside today, and I think that she left with the same feeling that I have. I think that she loves Westside now. Well, she was skipping in the hallways, for goodness sake. Yes, sir. She sure was. She was. So Evidently, she loved it, so I think she wanted to even take some of the students home with her. What are some of your goals that you'd maybe like to accomplish while you have this title? Oh, well, um, the, first and foremost, I want to make sure, so if I, if and when I leave this job, um, I would want people to say this is a commissioner that's about kids and teachers, because um, that's who I'm about at my core. And so at the end of however long I have in this really wonderful, privileged position, I would want to see that um, our educators felt like they were supported um, and treated as the professional leaders that they are, and that includes our principals, our APs, our educators, and everything in between. Um, I would want to see student achievement increase, and I would want to see that our college or our, our high school graduates um, with a diploma that means something, that after two years they're on the pathway to the career of their choice so they can support their families and be the amazing citizens that make up this amazing state. As we all know, education can be very beneficial to having a successful career, something Tennessee's new education commissioner knows all too well, something these students will learn as they get older. Reporting from Macon County, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.